Welcome back to Real Talk with Nana. Yay! Glad to see you guys. Um, I made some rice and gravy, some smothered chicken, and some thighs, and some wingettes, and some vegetables, and an extra thing of gravy back here, and some rolls. Yep. And I did a new re I didn't do a recite, but I kind of redid it so I can um, start my product or whatever. But yeah. But anyway, ding, ding. I'm looking at the camera to okay. make sure it's even. But anyway, the topic that I'm going to talk about today, because I've seen, um, I had did, I've been going on um, YouTube and I've seen a couple of bloggers and they kind of made me upset. Um, I'm not going to say no names. It's but, your channel. You can say what you want to say. Okay. Well, oops. Why didn't you tell me one of my boobs was, <laughs> was hanging out? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I didn't know. But anyways, I wanted to speak on um, Zillionaire. You guys probably know his, you know. His, oh my God, yeah. His, his channel and stuff. And I do not like Where he channel. talks about he, he females. Women. He like and females. And it's all black women. All black women. It's all and black so women. And so I got, yeah, I got to, yeah. I, that's I, that's I get not. Enough. I don't even know how I got subscribed to oh, his channel, no. but I'm subscribed. But. And I don't even remember how I got whatever subscribed. Whatever it is. And then, and then Tommy, Tommy Sotomayor, I think it's his I name. I don't know who that is. Him too. And yeah, we're going to get, we're going to get to that. Cause I have to, I have to address that. Cause I made a lot of, com I made a couple of comments to him because I didn't like it. I, I didn't like he it He know what he's doing. And I know, you know, women, I'm not going to say black women uh, do everything. I'm, I'm going to say there are some women that do certain things, but no. The way he talked about women, no, 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 no. Black women, no, 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 no. You know, like we're scum of the earth. And then he made one comment. Okay, wait, can we get into this so I can eat? Okay. Oh, Lord. Dear Heavenly uh, okay. <laughs> Father, we thank you. We come today, Lord, and we thank you for this food, Lord. Thank you for blessing my hands to prepare it, Father God. Let it be nourishing to our body and strength of our soul. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. <laughs> now you can talk. Okay, let me get my food put on plate. Cause if I don't, it. Look at that. Oh, you got it. What? <laughs> Can I get? Get what you, Mama? I'm not in your way. Yeah, that's one. How it tastes? Good. But anyways, um, like I was saying, let me get to the topic. Okay. You guys all know he was talking about females. He was defaming females and stuff like that. And he mainly said uh, uh, black women. And he said if, if black women don't get their stuff together, that's why the black man goes to, goes to other culture, goes to white women. Then he said. What about when we go to white men? What is he it said, then? but no, he said the reason why we go to white men is because we go digging. He said we go digging, we're thoughts, we're whores. And this channel need to just shut down. Honey, he got so many, so many subscribers, and they, they just, he just be on there just saying all kind of ratchet stuff. I wouldn't say so many. He has like 70,000 or something he like that. He been in there for like, he been there for like, been doing that for like, I think he said like five years. Yeah. He probably gets a lot of hate, and then he just probably just doesn't care, you know? But my thing is... Just pray for him, because when you, he's probably a man scorned or something, you know? Right! And he that's probably what has I said. some really bad experiences with black women, and but that's, that's unfortunate. What I said. You know, that's what I said. I said, okay, he, okay, he acting like that, and he said stuff like that. He what must happened? have got hurt. Something Somebody hurt him. Really bad. And then he want to say that we, we, we have multiple kids... And then we just get with the man, and the man becomes the baby daddy before it was another man on there, supposed to be a pastor or something, too. He was on there, and he was calling a bunch of young young girls whores and, and, you know, prostitutes and stuff. And then he said that black women are getting involved with a man, a black man, and um, take their money and then kill them. And I'm like, that's not true. You're talking about the same seed you're going to have to produce. You're producing Mm -hmm. It's like they're talking about you're talking, but you're disrespecting and talking about the same seed you got. You got to produce. You talking about your own daughter, right? He got a daughter. 
But you, you mean? yeah. So he has one daughter. Oh my god. You know, and and you know, and he. I, I, I wonder like, how he feels about her watching that. Like watching her dad call black women whores and he don't care. Whores and thoughts. He called him a whore and a thought and whatever. But my thing is that's 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 not right because that's not that's not always the case. That's okay. not ever the case. No, like we we no, honey. D- listen, listen. The, Sometimes the reason why women, some women, get to the point to where they get me in for you know they be with a man because they didn't been in multiple relationships and they didn't got hurt. So they're like, okay, okay, love, love. love Hurt people, love, hurt people. Yes, but love is not in this right now. I got to get in where I fit in. I got to get what I'm going to get. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're going we gonna to talk about love later. But I'm going to get what I can love. get. And even though, it, it, then he said, this is another thing he said. Oh, they have multiple babies by different men or whatever. I understand that. But that does not mean that they're a thought. That does not mean that they're a whore. What about the men? Like, I, I didn't get myself get, pregnant, I, baby. Girl. Let me get to it. I didn't get myself pregnant, sir. Let me, let me get, let me, let me, let me get to it. I would, matter of fact, I never would have got pregnant if something didn't come, if, if the sperm didn't shoot up in me in the first place. Let's get real raw with it. Women wouldn't even get pregnant if it's not, if it wasn't for the men shooting the sperm. So you shot your sperm in me. So it's like, it's not all on me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can't get myself pregnant. Yeah, but I under, I, under, I understand that. Okay, it takes two to tango. Okay, I understand that. But you you will have you will have you will have a young girl who uh, uh you know uh young girl or young lady or whatever you know she gets and most gets, black men listen, leave us. Listen, she gets into a relationship. Or they whatever. be the ones leaving us. She get into a relationship with somebody and he you know he blows smoke up her up her nose and everything and her eyes and her nose wide open and telling her he gonna be with her or whatever and then she end up pregnant. And then time she find he found out she's pregnant, he's gone. Okay. Do some time in the case that she learns yeah, her, learn her le- learn her lesson? No. She'll learn her lesson. She get in another relationship. Now this is baby number one. She, she get in another relationship. Either. She just out there doing whatever. Boom. She end up pregnant. That guy's gone. That's baby daddy number two. And why he gone? Why he leave? Well, sometimes they leave because they just want to hit it and quit it. They're not trying to make no commitment. And all they have to do is tell you that I love you. But it's my fault. The thing about it is when men go out and do stuff, they're pimps. They, 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 they homies. They're G. But when women have multiple uh, men, friends, oh, they hoes. They, they sluts. All of that. They, 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 they gold diggers. And then he has something to say about child support. They have every right to put your behind on child support if you act like you are, you ain't trying to take, stand up to the plate. Because, see, a lot of men, they feel like they can just come and d- get you pregnant and go about their business. But, see, I feel like females is wrong. Is they, they, where, they, where they come in fault is, is that, you know, if you know that you're just out there just doing whatever, don't leave it up to the men to, to, to strap it up. Protect yourself. Because you already know men lie. They lie. And, you know, men always want to hold women to a higher standard. But they don't do none of that. They come in a relationship, we accept them the way they are. They expect us to accept them the way they are. But when they come in, well, when they get with you, oh, yeah, you got to do this, that, and the third. You got to bend over backwards. You got to do this. You got to do that. You're not good enough. You ain't wife material. But they come as they are. But see, I, I feel like we need, to, you know, we need to get to the bottom of that because we wouldn't get her. But see, then you have, and then you have some, some black women, some women, they get some different cultures, uh, uh, relationships, and they don't want to act like they better. Or men do that. Men majority do that. They they say, "Oh, I don't mess with white. I don't mess with black women. I, you know, I I, I date outside my race." They treat a black woman like she don't, she like, like she ain't nothing. Not this one. They treat her like she ain't nothing. And if you a black I'm talking woman, about white, white. And if you, huh? I'm talking. I'm I'm talking about when they get with white women. They treat the white Some, woman. They treat they treat the white woman like gold and royalty, and they treat the black woman like she ain't nothing. Because of her credit, because for some reason. What do you mean her credit? Black women, white women have, just normally have better credit than than black women. What what you mean? What credit or what? So if they walk into a place to buy something. They like like they want a loan to get a loan on get a loan from for a home. White women, women are way more likely to get approved than black women are. So 
The most of the most most of the time, the black man is with the white woman. Of course, it's love sometimes, but a lot of times it's because of their credit, because of what doors they can get them into. And the same thing with a black woman. A lot of times she's with that white man because of his credit, because of what he can do, because of the doors that can open because of their color. They're not going to be judged as much as we judged. So that's why they do that. Not to mention, a lot of times their credit scores is, is higher too. Let's be real about it. Don't even say you got nothing to do with no dog on credit. Nothing. Money is. It ain't got nothing to do with no credit. Nothing. Because listen, if a man it is. It does. A, no, it doesn't. Because yes. if a man, if a man is a gold dog on digger, he gonna be with that woman, honey. He's sitting in the car while she go in there and get whatever, and she'll go and get a credit card in his dog on name. He I'm talking about, about the white woman. The white woman. He don't give she a. She already dog got dog. credits. Uh -huh. She got and a bunch of credit get, cards. And she'll go get him one in his name. He ain't worried about. He ain't worried about walking up in no building doing nothing. She gonna do everything. That's not what I said. Okay, what'd you say? I Brandon? said that that's the reason why white women, that that's the reason why a lot of black men are with white women. Not because they think they, they better. Not because they look more beautiful. Not because they just digging them like that. A lot of times it's because of what doors they can get them into. Sorry. It's because of their credit. Did you get a piece of rice my I'm head? sorry. But calm down and listen to what I'm saying because I know junior. what I'm talking about. Dang. Sorry. It's because of the credit. It's their credit. It's what they can do. It's the doors they can open. It's the doors that are open to them. A man could be in a relationship with their wife and they can have all the money in the world and that nigga still go out and cheat and have babies everywhere else but sit and defame their I'm wife. I'm talking about why a man is, why a black man is with a white woman. I, that's what because I'm talking about. Because the white about. woman let them get away with whatever the hell they want to let them get too. away with. Oh. <laughs> With that rice. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ma. Look, I'm going to talk this way. When you talk Please this way, I'm going to talk this way. My bad. That too, though. That too. That's the number one thing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that could be the number one thing. But I'm saying, like, it really is. Like, what I'm saying is the truth. It, it, and legit. the reason why they do that, go, go, get, go get in other relationship with other people, is because the black woman ain't going to let them get away with shit. That's true. They want somebody they can run over. They want somebody that, that that worships them, worship them. But if you act like that's you not what they call it, though, they call it submissive. They say that the white black women are not as submissive as the white women are, and that's why they leave them. Why would they be submissive when a man is treating them like a dog? Why? Please make it make sense. Well, to them, they don't feel like they're treating you like a dog. But at the same time, they are treating you like a dog. And the funny part about it is, is that they'll get they'll treat the black woman like a dog. And then when they lead a black woman to get with the white woman, they, they won't treat her like a dog whatsoever. But they know she go, they go ask going to jail. Or they, put, put your hands on. You're going to jail or something else going to happen. Then they tell Hold us a bunch hand. of lies and try to act like, tell us a bunch of lies and try to act like, I left you because you always talking over me or you too dominant or you mm -hmm. ain't submissive and all this and that and the third. And that's why I'm with her because she treat me better and da 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 Nah, bruh. Go cheat on her and see what happens. Now, don't get it miss don't get it twisted. We're not talking about all people. We're not talking about all black men. We're not talking about all black women. We're not talking about all white women. We're not talking about all white men. Because there are a lot of genuine, um, what do you call them? Blended families that mm -hmm. are genuine. And I have friends that are white and black and they have the same and they and they coexist together and they are really good people. And you could yeah. tell God put them together. Mm -hmm. So don't get it twisted. We are not talking about all people, but Honey, the water is thick. <laughs> is all I'm gonna say. Very thick. Yeah. And then another thing. And then let me. Can I say this? Mm -hmm. And let me tell. The, let me tell the black men something. Let me tell all y'all something. Black women don't want. We don't want to be dominant. We don't want to be overbearing. We don't want to be in control of everything. Go. It is not our goal when we when we're when we're younger to say when we're when we're younger and we're growing up. It's mm -hmm. not our goal. We we don't open up. We don't we don't have it in our mind. Oh, I'm gonna marry a man and right. tell him what to do and be or dominant. I'm be a, or I'm be a gold digger. Oh yeah, or be overbearing. Like we don't want to do those things. Or I'm we be don't, a gold digger. I'm be a thug. Or I'm, I'm gonna be angry. You know? No, I'm talking about in a relationship. Yeah, I get a, I'm gonna get a husband. I'm gonna be angry all the time. I'm gonna be dominant. I'm gonna tell him what to do. I'm gonna push him over. I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna push him over and everything and make him do what I want him to do. I'm gonna cuss him. We don't grow up saying that we want to do those things. Mm -mm. We grow up wanting a fairy tale relationship. We, we grow up love. wanting to be loved. We grow up wanting him With to be our king. Mix. 
be our prince and everything. Take care of us. We stay home. You know, a lot of us stay home, you know, cook and clean. And he comes home. He takes care of everything. He takes care of the house. But unfortunately, we don't get that. That's fairy tale land. A lot of black women don't get that at all. Okay? A lot of men come into the relationship thinking we're going to take care of them. Thinking that we're supposed to do this for them and do that for them. And once we step into that role, then you got a problem with how we with how we move. If you if if I'm making more money than you, are you not working at all? Are you not carrying your weight or push or, or moving your weight around the house? You're supposed to. If you are not doing really stepping into the role you're supposed to be as a man, as God says in the Bible, then you cannot expect for me to be submissive to you. Like I'm I you can't I can't do both. You know what I'm saying? You you're asking me to play both roles, but you're not playing both. You're asking me to be submissive and be dominant at the same time cuz you're asking me to be to take on the man's roles and the wife roles at the same time. Why do we as black women have to take on the man role and the and the and the woman role? Why do we have to take on the role that the Bible tells us to take on as women and the role that the Bible tells the men to take on? We take on both roles. We're doing everything. We out here. We working. We slaving. We taking care of your kids. We doing all of this stuff. And then when we come home, you want us to say yes, sir. You want us to. You want us to rub your feet and rub your back. Hell no. Let your back hurt. Hell no. Then roll on over. Hell no. So it's not that the black woman wants to be dominant. It's not that she wants to be over overbearing okay. or in control or this and that. So basically, what I'm saying is we can't play both hats. If we gonna play both hats, then. I would rather you not be there. If we can, if you want, if I have to play both hats, then I don't need you to tell me which hat to, which hat I need to play. Is all I'm saying. If I have to be dominant and you know what I'm saying? And, uh, the authoritarian in my home and be, you know, the gentle spirit or whatever, or authoritative or whatever you want to call it, parent. I gotta be both aware of both of those hats because I'm taking care of these kids. I'm doing it all by myself. I'm, um, you know, cooking. I'm cleaning. I gotta cook. I gotta take care of the home, and I gotta work and do all the other stuff and bring home a paycheck and all of this stuff and do all of that. Do all of that. If I gotta wear both of those hats more than the man does in the home, don't tell me how to act. Is all I'm saying. Don't. You cannot say, oh, you're overbearing or you're this and you're that and you're that when you are not. It, when you are not um, um, playing your role as the father, but that's what okay. I'm saying. I understand what you're saying, but uh, 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 some cases it's, it's not that right because men really don't care about that. They just throw that up there in their face because you won't let them. To, they don't care about you saying uh, 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 about you saying uh, you explain it to them about what you were just saying. They don't care about you being dominant. They ain't worried about you being dominant. Yes, they are. No, they're not. That's just an excuse so they can go and do what they want to do. The men don't give a dog on about you being dominant. Oh, you, girl, please. If you allow, if you let a woman dominate you, then you a simp. Then you just weak. Because men don't let no women dominate them. Period. Wait, so why do men always say that black women are too dominant? Because black women will not let them do what they want to do. Treat them any kind of way. That's why they say that. Why are they translating me wanting you to respect me into dominance? So they can, why have, does an that translate? So they can have an excuse to do what they want to do. But why are men they associating? Are, <clears throat> why are they associating that? Just, some men is very manip ma manipulative. They will manipulate you in a minute. Okay, but let's... Let and they always telling you what it is that you ain't doing. Or oh, you ain't did this. Or you didn't gain weight. Or or or, 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 or your hair's too short. Okay, wait a minute. Or your hair too nappy. Men always have stipulation on everything that comes, okay. that comes to a woman. Okay, but wait a minute. Over the reason why I went and got a white woman or went and got another culture woman because they hair is straight and long. And they light skinned. It, and they got nice big booty and big titties. They always put a title on us. But the white women be trying to look like us. That's why they do it. They don't be wanting to look like the uh, uh, pale. Those would be the ones that be dominant. Don't nobody want to look pale <laughs> with a flat butt Shoot. and no breast. And what they do? They go out and they get brown. They get tans. You know. And, and don't get me wrong. I love my white women. I do. But listen. And Ain't nothing wrong with the tan. Listen, Ain't nothing wrong listen, with the way y'all look. Listen, we're trying to look you, listen, more I don't tan have no and more curvy. With different but cultures. I'm just saying. I don't have no problem. They be trying to look like us. I don't have no problem with different cultures. You know what I'm saying? I don't have no problem with a black woman getting with a white man. I don't have no problem with a white woman getting with a black man. 
that that's not what I prefer. You know, I stick to my own culture. I ain't trying to go. I I I just stick to my own culture. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't I don't go I don't go outside that. You know, and if I can't find whatever it is inside where I'm wherever I'm at, ain't no then I don't need it. Then I don't need I don't need nobody. I just need a, I just need to be by myself. Ain't no such a thing you can't find. There's an abundance of everything out here. God put a man in the world for you, just like He put a woman in the world for a man. I get that. Ain't no such a thing. But the thing about it is, is that I'm not understanding why some women. I'm. A, this is the only thing I don't like about black women. I don't like how you mean some black women. Some black women, a lot of them. Even this is what I don't even like about my own self. I don't like how, because when I was younger, like in my early 20s, I used to like cuss the black man out really, 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 really bad. Like I still, I will still pop off if I need to, but nothing like I used to. I mean, like literally calling them the B word, cussing them out, making them feel bad. Why? Because of the way they treated you? They made you how, they, how they made you feel? Yeah, because of how they feel, made me made, feel. Made you feel little, small. Yeah. yeah. But I didn't like that about myself. You're like what? That I had to stoop to that level and cut somebody out like that. Okay. Well, and make a man and make the man feel smaller than why? what they already feel. They trying feel. to make you feel smaller than what you already feel. That's true. But I never liked that. Okay. And that and it's and, and listen, there's one thing about a man, a black man at that, calling him the b word is like the worst thing you can do. They it's call just, you. They call you that every day. You might, under, take, you might as well take your name I, off your birth certificate. I understand. I understand that. But I'm just saying, t calling him that is like the worst thing you can do. That's just like a female. She get married. She been married for years. You know, and, and she she was very successful before she got married. Her husband was successful. She was successful. They ain't even had no kids yet. Okay? He convinced her that he want to make a family. She said, okay. We're going we gonna to make a family, okay? So she stopped doing her practice or whatever business or whatever she was doing. She stopped it so she could stay home and be the housewife and take care of the kids. Because this is the first thing he told her. Oh, I don't want my kids. I don't want nobody else babysitting my kids. I want you. We, we, we pregnant, so I want you to be home. <clears throat> I got the bills. I got everything. Don't you even worry about it. She's so happy. He moved her in a big house. They got a big house together and everything. She happy. She happy. She happy go lucky. She had one kid. She had two kids. Next thing you know, he come in. She, she's cooking for him. She's cleaning for him. She's making sure she put the kids down. You know, she's doing all this stuff for him. But it was great in the beginning. Then all of a sudden, as years go on, she became boring to him. So then next thing you know, he's having late night, standing late night at work. Or some days he lies, say he going, he going to be at work at late and he be at a bar with his friends. The next thing you know, she just sit there and put all her blood and sweat, growing them kids up, taking care of that man. That man start cheating. Then he start nitpicking, finding little bitty things about around the house, looking for an excuse so he can go out there and do what he want to do. But she ain't paying no attention to it. He start talking about her. Saying, oh, well, why I come home? Why you in that moo moo? Why you, why you got them rollers in your head? Well, damn, she been sitting here home all day taking care of the damn kids. Cooking and cleaning. Iron straight, uh, 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 putting starch on your shirts. Making sure your clothes and stuff and bath water and stuff is ready for you. And, and so you'll be having a, a successful day. But she's she taking care of herself, though. She does, she does the same thing. But by the time she's taking care of the kids and doing everything else, she's too tired. Well, you need to find out. You need to get you some take to drink okay, you but some you're not, smoothies. Okay, all right, but you got you don't you're not understanding what I'm saying. I understand. Drink you okay, some then, smoothies. Okay, oh, then you're not understanding what I'm saying. I understand. No, you no, you don't. Yes, I do. You no, get ready to use because that when the female, as an No, but listen, listen, listen. But when the man, but you know, but when the female, when the woman, you know, she's in love with him and she loves him and she wants to be there for him and he and he, this this is all you tell her. You don't have to work. Stay home, take care of the kids. All I'm asking is to make sure everything is okay as far as me going out here, doing these business deals, doing all that. So she's like, okay, that, that's all I can do. Next thing you know, he out there cheating. Next thing you know, he ended up leaving her. Now she gave up her gave up her her whole uh, her whole uh, career to stay home to take care of the kids. That's not right. And that's the stupid part because you shouldn't. Because let me tell you something. God did not create a woman just to be a mother. Because some women can't have kids. 
So if God created us to just be mothers, then we would then we would all have the ability to have children. And all women but Donnie, do she not have ability. But Donnie, she don't even, it don't even, sometimes Listen, in I'm the on case, your side. Hold on. The, the I'm on your side. The cases they don't even got to be have kids. Hold they on. Just, the woman just stay home. Yeah, but hold on. want her to stay home. Hold on. I'm on your side, mom. I'm on your side with this. Listen, listen to what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is that God didn't just make us to be bear, childbearing. He made us to have lives. He made us to do other things. He made us with purpose. He made us with destiny. And so if you are giving all of yourself to this man and these kids and then you ain't got nothing left over for you, that's not that, that's not your husband's fault. That's not the kid's fault. That's your fault. Donnie, because you don't know, you don't know who you are. Donnie, and you should know who you are. Donnie, God didn't create you. Donnie, hold on. No, hold on. Because when I was in my last marriage, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Do you know who you was? I didn't fully know who I was, but okay. I damn sure I was out there seeking it. Okay. I was in school. Okay. And I did not, and I was in okay. school then. Matter of fact, okay. matter of fact, I graduated the year I got divorced. Okay. With a bachelor's degree in psychology. Didn't know where I was going, mm -hmm. what I was going to do with it, mm -hmm. where I was going to end up at with it. Mm -hmm. But I was still seeking myself out. I was still figuring out who I am. The problem of where black women go wrong is that you give all of yourself to one person. And God says to put no one before him. I know what I'm saying. You giving all of yourself and uh, uh, to this one person, to this one person that God did not create you to give your all to. My husband is not above God. Period. He's not above God. Period. So if God tells me to do something and my husband tells me to do something, I'm not going to obey my husband. I'm going to obey God and do what God told me to do. But the problem is you put your husband before you put God. You're doing everything this man is telling you to do like he's your God. Okay. You're making him the center and the foundation of your life, the center of your life. And now you ain't got time for yourself. You don't know what you want to do. You don't know why you're here. You ain't got to do something that outside of the home. You ain't got, you know, you can still take care of your kids and, and, do, and do what's in your heart to do. My son sat in the class with me plenty of times. Sat in the classroom with me, 7 o'clock uh, uh, p.m. classes uh, uh, at the campus. And sat right over there in the corner playing his video games. I will see you guys on the next video. You hear me? Thank you for um, checking in. Thank you for checking in. You hear me? Real talk with Nana. You hear me? I kind of feel bad. About what? Just about the, just bad about the things that that women, black women have to go through. It's like, it's just so much. Yeah, that's the reason why I had to come on here because that's 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 not right. Men always want to stereotype women and always want to put them down and always want to say, oh, we gold diggers and stuff and talk about child support or whatever. Take care of your kids and you ain't got to worry about no child support. I, I, and then they, 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 they're not going out here all having all these babies, just be having these babies. These men promise them that they're going to be with them and they end up getting with these men and these men end up leaving them. Come here. So, what? I want to hug you. Okay. I just feel so bad. Okay, why you... Come hug, here. Hug yourself. Hey, hug me. Uh, Donisha. Come on, lay down. Lord. What that supposed to do? You just been through a lot, you know? Who? You. Okay, I ain't been through... Girl, bye. And that's why... And now I see why your purpose is here. Why God put you here. Why he put you on... um On the... On the... Come here, mom. I see now why God put you here, why he put you on the channel. Um, the test clipping out? No, not <laughs> no. that's my channel. I'm talking about this channel, your channel. I see why, I, I mean, this was definitely, I didn't think put too much, too much thought into it. But now I'm like, this was definitely God ordained for you to be, for you to have your own channel. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, you give so much with your you give so much with your channel like you you give people love through your cooking and you show them how to cook and then you give them advice for the young ones i mean you, you i know you think you're being more encouraging maybe sometimes to the older ones but i really think this is definitely for the young ones because we need to hear this mm. you know and you're, you're you 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 went through a lot and and you and everything that you're saying is help is gonna help the younger generation of black women 
and 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 everyone else, but 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 I think it's gonna have a hard, a, a much harder impact on the black women. I hope so because um, I'm tired of people always putting because see so I don't that care. they don't have people, to go through you know, what people, you went people through. People would sit up and say, oh well, well what about other cultures? Yeah, other other cultures too, but black women they they go through more than anything. They they we are the most we go through hated. we we're the more most hated. We are the most hated, you guys, and we are the most. True. So are, hey, if I say something like excuse me, we are me, the lowest if paid. If I say black. Women, then okay. We are the lowest. I'm paid. not gonna apologize for saying that. And we, I mean, I mean, I mean, name like, like, look at the statistics. We get treated wrong. It's bad enough we was in slavery and everything. Now we gotta have our black men treating us like we're nothing. But they got mothers. Do they treat their mamas like that? That's why it's so important. I'm not saying all black men are all black men are, are wrong are, are are bad. But doggone it, majority of them are. You'd be lucky if you find a good one. And if you do get a good one, it's because the Lord set it up. And I, I'm just going to keep it real. I think that's why it's so important for um, me and Clifton to continue to do what we do on our channel. Because I feel like we're showing we're showing people that black couples still exist. And, yes, not, and, and we, even though we're all, both black, we're blended because he's from a different country. He's still black. He's still black, but I'm saying we're blended because he's from a different country. All right, right. So we mm. we we have we have a we still have a barrier. Yeah, I don't I don't, I don't, I don't see. We that. have a communication barrier. When I look at barrier. him, all I see is black. Yeah, but we have a communication barrier yeah. because he's from a different country. But at the same time, it's like I think that's why we need to. That's that's gonna be my motivation from now on to continue waxing with Donisha. And your motivation from now on needs to be, you know, you are giving life and love and support to black women, to white women, to black men, to white men, and to everybody, Asian, no matter, me Mexican, Hispanic, Russian, you're giving it to everybody. Because I know me, it could be good. I mean, you know, I, I, I know they can be good, but sometimes they don't want to be. They're so stuck up into themselves. It's always about me, my, and I, and they don't think about the other person. They don't think about the, the, the kids. They don't think about the mother. They don't think about that. They just go and just do whatever they want to do. And then, but let me tell you something. This one thing I will say for sure. Don't nobody want to grow, don't nobody want to grow and die old alone. Believe that. So the man, while they sitting up there mistreating you, what goes around comes around. And see, the thing that gets me is when, when they didn't went out there in random streets and did everything they was possible to do, because they already knew they had a good one. But they, but they had that thought in their mind. Okay, I can go do this, that, and the third. And but she loves me so much. Oh, I can do whatever I want to do. She's gonna be there. Girl, I think I'm done with this topic because I'm gonna cry. She's gonna be there. Are but then when they find eyed? out, she's not gonna be there. You getting glossy eyed? No, oh no. Heck I ain't. Yeah, your ears, your eyes are glossy. No, I ain't. They glossy. Okay, they glossy. But I ain't. Mine I ain't about is to cry. too. Though I am. I, I got. Ain't. The, we're gonna have to end this because it's just so sensitive. If this, 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 this video was just so much. Um, Only thing I got to say. It was so much. Um, my sisters. I'm kind of sensitive right now. Black, oh. red, green, purple, blue, whatever. You are amazing. And don't hold let nobody. Hold your head up. Hold your head and up. And do your thing. And if you made a mistake and was in a get relationship and didn't, it didn't work out, get back up and do it again. Don't let that I man, did. Don't let that man see you fall because a lot of men, they want to see you fall. Ha! That's where they get their strength Wait from. on it, boo. Fire. When you fall, that's when they get their strength. Wait on it, baby. But you show them. Because just like the ashes, I rise, baby. Just like the ashes, rise. You gonna rise. Shoot. Sure. Young and old. Don't rise. matter. Don't play with me. As long as you still got air don't, and breath in your body. Don't, don't, don't play with can, me. You can get it together. I rise. Don't play with me, uh, Maya Angelou. <laughs> don't, don't, don't play with me. Don't make me bust out the Maya Angelou uh, I Rise poem through the inner city to the suburbs. Wait, that was the wrong one. Still, I Rise. Ain't that bad. It ended. All right. I was trying to uh, look up the... Uh... <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Y'all know what I was trying to say, though. Bump the bump. Anywho, we done. We'll yes. see y'all on the next video. And yes... I'm on my mama's channel to stay. I ain't going nowhere because she be cooking and I be eating. <laughs> so I'm going to be here and we're going to be back and we're going to have another discussion. So love y'all so much.
And we will see you guys on the next video. Love you guys. Bye, lovelies. Bye, lovelies. Don't be trying to take my word. That's, I, well, what you want me to say? Okay, yeah, you can say Wax that. Wax the squad? Uh, no. <laughs> Y'all not the wax squad today. Y'all lovelies. All right. Yeah. I ate a lot of chicken. Love you. Peace. All right.